What's up you guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to wrap text around photos or any shape or object in Adobe InDesign. Okay, so here we are, I already have a document open, it's just a letter sized document with some sample text, some lorem ipsum in there. So what I wanna show you how to do first is bring in an image, so I'm gonna go to File, Place, and I actually brought in or I took a picture just now, just for this tutorial, just for you guys. I think it's on my desktop. It should be one of the newest things. Screenshot, open, boom, there it is. There's my smiley face. Okay, so I'm gonna scale this down by pressing E. That is the scale tool over here, it'll pop up. That is the shortcut key for it. I'm gonna hold shift and kind of scale him down. There he is. I wanna create a circular frame personally. So I'm going to go over here and grab the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is L. I'm going to hold shift and option or alt to create a circle out of the center. There's my circular frame. Now what I want to do is just grab this photo by clicking when I see the hand icon. That's going to give me the, the photo, not the frame. I'm going to hit command or control C to copy. And I'm going to right click on this circular frame and go to paste into. And that's going to paste my photo into that circular frame. If I click on that center circle again, that little toggle with the hand, I can actually scale this photo and kind of fit it in here. There we go. I'm gonna leave that just like that. I'm gonna delete out this photo up here. So this little circular frame, it's like any other shape. It's just, it's just a frame, okay? So what the text wrap is actually gonna do is just wrap text around this frame. So what I need to do is go up to Window, down to Text Wrap, and that has its own panel. And that's gonna pop out somewhere. I can't find it, we're gonna go back to it. Text Wrap, it is somewhere, I can't find it, so let's go ahead and arrange our workspace. We're gonna go back and reset things, and then we're going to pull open the window again. And there it is, there's Text Wrap, okay. So Text Wrap should pop up just fine, and some of these options are available up here in these properties, especially when you click on the object you want to affect. However, they're not always available. It just depends on your screen size, and the text wrap panel is gonna have more options anyway. It may look like this for you, but if you click show options on this little hamburger menu, you're gonna get everything that involves text wrap. So what can we do with this text wrap? Well, currently, no text wrap is selected. I can go wrap around bounding box. Here's what it looks like with no text wrap, right? I just bring that over, there's no text wrap. But if I select this object and say wrap around bounding box, it's going to wrap the text around this bounding box, this square bounding box. And right now there's no padding. So this text will run right up against the bounding box on the top, bottom, and sides, and, uh, and then wrap around that. We can wrap around the shape of the object. So if we click that, Notice how the text now wraps around the circle shape, not the bounding box, but the circle itself. And then we can also do some other things like we can jump the object so it'll just create a complete spacing and just jump to the next point past the object. And then this one will jump the text to the next column. It'll make the object the last thing in that column. What we can do with any of these wrapping options, if we go back to just wrapping around, how about wrapping around the object itself? We can adjust the padding. And because this object is a circle, if I don't click on that photo, I can adjust how much the padding is basically around the circle itself. So as I hit the up arrow on this number here, it's creating a certain amount of padding around that circle, specifically, 0.3125 inches worth of padding. And so if I hit W on this, you'll be able to see that text is wrapping around that circle with a little bit of padding in there. And as I move this image around, the text will automatically adjust and wrap around our object. So that's pretty cool. I can do the same thing with wrap around the, wrapping around the bounding box. And I actually have a few more options. I can select all of these to be linked together. So I can just wrap around that bounding box. You can see how it's extending out that padding area. Or I can uncheck this. If I don't want to wrap around the top and bottom that much, I could change just the top and the bottom padding, maybe back to zero and leave some left and right padding so it only uh, has padding on the left and right side. So there's different things you can do. You can also select some wrap options, whether you want to wrap just the right side, left side, both sides, side towards the spine, side away from the spine, or the largest area. If it is necessary, it will open up these contour options depending on what object or shape you have selected. 
So this is how to wrap text around images. I like to wrap it either around the bounding box or around the shape itself, and then to give it a little bit of padding so your images fit right in there nicely. It'll work with any type of frame or object or shape. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope I covered enough for you. This is how to wrap text in InDesign. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and creative videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>